Senior X30 is up next here at PF International. Oliver Hodgson and Levi King on the front row from Pennell, Malin, Curl, Pettit, Bellini, Johnson, Harvey and Rose. Keep an eye out for the man starting 32nd on the grid. You may have seen last week Mark Kimber wrap up the OK Senior Championship in last week's programme. Here today, he starts 32nd on the grid at the back of a very competitive grid. What, let's see how he charges through. Senior X30 is go, and they run to the first corner. Absolutely cracking start. It's still very wet and greasy in places of the circuit, but it is drying out. So it's going to be very tricky for some of the drivers to get a good line. But out in front, the 33, Oliver Hodgson, has taken the early advantage as they sweep over the Litchfield Bridge for the first time. The driver on the 67 car, Danny Curley, is in fourth place there. He's got the championship tied up as he makes the move for third in uh, Hairpin. Been one, so curl the oh, champion. We've had one or two spit out there. Oh, and there's rodeo contact there as 18 and 78 become bucking Bronco Scott Jackson having a tussle there with Anna Morris. That has not gone well for those two, and uh, that was very much a, a rodeo they didn't want to be on as they went up and over. But there is Danny Curl making the move for second position now. He really wants to finish his season on a high as he makes the move on Levi King. He's already tied up the championship, and the Jade Carts works driver, Danny Curl, wants to finish this season on a high. 70 car in the background is uh, off. We just about saw him, Matthew Graham. There he is, out of the race. That's a real shame for Matthew Graham. He did not want to end his season on the sidelines as Curl again gets pressure from Levi King as they try and close up on Hodgson. Fourth position is the 44 of Brad Pennell as he tries to close in on a final podium finish of the season. Lots of drivers in the switch back there. Man out front, Oliver Hodgson, led the World Championships last year in this class before losing his chain. It was absolutely soul-destroying for him. He'll be wanting to put that right. He's got the World Championships coming up in the OK class here at PF International, and he's already got a ticket secured, I think, for the World Finals here in the X30 classes, and he'll be looking to put right that wrong from last season. There's Levi King on the strawberry racing cart in third position. Did I see a few spots of rain again? It's been like this all weekend, of course. Yeah, it is drizzling. You can just about make it out there. A few spits and spots, not enough to make that much of a difference at the moment, but it uh, will do if it keeps coming down. Well, this would be a nightmare scenario in terms of weather for any other form of racing, not in karting. They can tend to cope with it as a warning flag goes out for Josh Skelton. Not quite sure what's happened there with the 43. We didn't see anything worthy of it. That doesn't mean that something hasn't happened. Obviously, an awful lot has happened already in this one. As Look, Danny Curl has made up all the ground on Ollie Hodgson at the end of this race. He's going to dive for the inside line. This is the champion taking the lead. Danny Curl has hit the front once again. Absolutely amazing run. We call him the invisible man in these here parts because, well, frankly, he never turns up to get his picture taken. So you won't see an image of Danny Curl. He likes to keep it private, does Danny? Well, he leads the way here in front of Hodgson and King as they run ahead of the rest of the pack together. It looks like these three will be bidding for the podium places and it could be quite a tough job for the drivers behind to close up on the podium runners. But Curl is your leader in front of Hodgson and King as they dive through the right, through the left, and now up towards this long sweeping left-hander that goes on and on forever. If you time it right, you're turning left for pretty much the entirety of, and you won't lose too much speed as you do so. But look, there's still amazing squabbles going on all the way through the field. That's Senior X30 for you. Yeah, this is one of the most competitive classes in karting these days, certainly in this championship, although I'm saying that, to be fair, as Hodgson goes up the inside against, uh, uh, past the championship leader, rather, uh, Danny Curl has won this at a canter this season. That's Elliot Harvey picked out in fourth place for Dan Holland Racing. And he's the one who's going to be trying to challenge for that third and final spot on the podium, if he can keep the flow going. Great battles in the mid-pack, that's the Coles Racing Boys going to battle. That is the 15 there being passed by the 25 of Morgan Rose. So Jensen Brown just has to concede at the moment. But Morgan Rose doing his best to try and work himself up towards the top six. But as you can see, he and the rest of his teammates have got an awful lot of work to do before they get there. Must be about 16 carts in that train about to come under the bridge. Where are they? Here they come. Look at this. <laughs> this is what karting is all about. Fantastic racing all the way through the field. And that's what the Super 1 British Karting Championships are 
brilliant at. Year in, year out, we always get these magnificent grids of races. Today is no exception. Archie Tillett making the move up the inside line there on the 15. And Jensen Brown, they just rub wheels as the 91 manages to get the benefit there. Paul Stewart, the Scott, has got through no problem at all. And as they sweep out of the second hairpin, they're just about sorting things out. They're still squabbling all over the place. Into the S's once again. Oh, contact! Morris has gone into the back of Kimber and everybody's having to shoot across the uh, right-hander over the grass to avoid the incident. And Morris getting very friendly with the official MSA British Senior Karting Champion on short circuits. That's uh, Kimber through the left-hander. Kimber in front of Morris and she decides to give him a little tap. Well, I don't think she realised he was going to be a little bit slower on the inside line there in the left-hander than he was, and that's what caused the accident. Don't think that was intentional, but she still gets the warning flag because, of course, she's caused an incident. The 37 is through to the lead once again. No, for the first time, sorry. Elliot Harvey sat in fourth position at one point. Harvey is now leading it in front of Hodgson, and then Danny Curl has slipped to the back of the queue in fourth place. Yeah, so Harvey out front, Hodgson on his own circuit, I say his own circuit, his uh, sponsor, Paul Fletcher, owns the circuit, obviously, but uh, it's like he owns the circuit because he's done so many laps around here, and here comes Danny Curl, four second place, the uh, 2017 man that's already secured the 2017 championship, through to second, Hodgson dropped back to third, but uh, pretty close race amongst these top five, and it's about to start, become a six-car train, and it's starting to rain again, Jake. It certainly is. I mean, that was beautiful timing from Danny Curl. He'd slipped to fourth, managed to get Levi King back for third, and then Hodgson back for second in quick succession. Now he's charging after Elia Harvey on the 37. Fifth in the queue is Brad Pennell on the 44. As they come underneath the Litchfield Bridge, Pennell is a little bit closer than I think these guys would like him to be, but he is there large and dominating in fifth position as he tries to close up on them, gaining lots of time. William Pettit is there in sixth position and then leading the cavalry in the seventh place battle is Ewan Wilson. Up the inside goes Carl. Hodgson gets through as well. And so too does Levi King. So down to fourth position goes Harvey. And I can tell you the rain is coming down heavier. It, this is coming down now. It's starting to, you know, what's what was a few spits and spots, a little bit of drizzle starting to come down. This could be very interesting. Yep, it gets any heavier. This can technically be classified as a downpour. And now this is all about Danny Curl holding on to his nerve in front of Oliver Hodgson. Levi King is there in third position on the 97. And now we've got the 44 trying to charge up towards Elliot Harvey. So Brad Pennell trying to make his way for fourth position. Sixth place, don't forget William Pettit. He's got a chance to make up a few places. Look at the rain, look at the rain now. This end of the circuit is absolutely bucketing down now. And on the inside goes Harvey for third. Harvey makes the move for King. Oh, and there goes the leader, it's Danny Curl. Danny Curl goes straight on into the barriers. The champion has just missed the corner of the left-hander at the Litchfield Bridge. And that's because the rain is really coming down hard and he was the first man that went into Hodgson that corner. Hodgson goes wide. Hodgson goes wide as well. So there's no grip anywhere on the circuit now. now Everyone's the, just tiptoeing their way around. Harvey trying to take advantage of Hodgson taking the correct line. And Harvey, has he taken advantage? No. Hodgson comes back. You just see the rain now on the lens. Look at this. They're all over the place. Oh, no. This is absolute nightmare. And that's going to be rejoining the circuit in fourth or fifth position. But surely he's going to have to give a few places back. And this is British karting, don't forget. We don't get Battenbergs for rain. We certainly don't get race stoppages. They just have to keep going. We've seen a few comments on some of the... Uh, uh, races on YouTube from uh, you guys in the United States who like watching this championship who oh. can't believe that we race in on slicks in the rain as Pettit nearly went off in the background. Look at the rain, Look now. rain now. Oh my word, Tom now, Turner. In, the, in America, they'd be red flagging this. Not here, guys. We just carry on. Yeah, Thomas Turner has just set the fastest lap of the race and it won't be beaten, will it? Look, they're tippy toeing their way through the Litchfield Bridge. They've just got to stay on the road at this point. Several drivers having to uh, be very careful how things go. But this race is now not going to be won by Danny Curl, whose race ended in the tyre barrier. Oliver Hodgson is still lead. Look at the rain now. This is absolutely appalling. And the drivers are still just making their way through. Lots of overtaking moves are going to be made in this as drivers 
tippy toe their way around. There's about 17 different racing lines around the circuit. We're on the last lap. Oliver Hodgson has just got to keep the cart flowing. Now watch, he'll move across as we saw. He moves off the racing line, flicks the brake, then cuts back in to coast the cart round. Oliver Hodgson should just about have this as Elliot Harvey runs wide. He's just about going to hold on to this Oliver Hodgson. This will be a nice reward on home turf for the team. He will get an absolutely terrific victory. It's proper coming down now. The deluge blowing across the circuit. He comes down the straight, over the line, and Oliver Hodgson has done it. He takes the checkered flag in fine style. Harvey second over the line. Third position, that is the 44 of Brad Pennell. So Pennell picks up the final place on the podium in the final race of the season. King is fourth from Turner, the fastest man on the track in fifth. Petted in sixth from Morgan, Laws, Archie Tillett and Jensen Brown in tenth. Oli, ticket to the international finals, you've won. And we've got the World Championships coming up uh, in October as well here at PF International. Uh, and I know you're going to be a contender for that, but no better way to end the season in Super 1 than with a win. Looking forward to those World Championships. Got to give you some confidence, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we come here, we couldn't win this championship this weekend. Danny Curl had already won. So we came here as really for fun. Uh, absolutely fantastic to come away with a double win. And yeah, I'm full of confidence going into these World Championships. Uh, it would be really nice to uh, finish off at the IAMI one after leading last year while the chain snapped. So we'll be going really hard there in Le Mans and here in PF. OK, who do you want to thank for your win? Uh, always Paul Fletcher. He's done a fantastic job for me. A great win for Oliver Hodgson, and it's him you see on your screen. But Danny Curl is the champion. Hodgson second from Turner, Harvey and Ward. Next up after the break, IAMI Cadet.